All right, new acquisitions here. I decided to get the Nagoya antennas for GMRS. This is the, what is it, 701G? I guess it's quarter wave. It's gotta be a quarter wave. Antenna tuned for 462 to 467 at the claims. And then it has the big brother, which is the 771G. They claim as a, it actually claims as a half wave. I got to estimate female versions of them because uh, they outnumber the males and I didn't want to buy you know four of them so I got these two comes with a little gasket I like the look of them they look pretty cool I mean the subdued colors it's tapered it's like it goes well on a, on a, on a radio fits nicely construction it is is plastic the tip is hard plastic it feels like a little softer plastic here than the, the actual tip and this the bottom of it is plastic kind of surprised me this one's plastic too because I have oh a few years ago I bought the uh, the 701 C's which is a dual band commercial I think 155 VHF and UHF was 455 I think what they said so it was closer to GMRS and it's a good one for MERS according to the numbers I thought this was a metal housing on the bottom uh, maybe I was mistaken but it appears like this is metal it is a smoother shinier surface these new ones here so I don't know uh, maybe did it maybe they're saving on construction by making them plastic but it, it's certainly let's see it's about the same size so maybe it is maybe it was plastic the whole time it just feels a little heavier um i know it's b bigger than this one anyway this is definitely plastic this i'm sure of now i think it's metal the uh this antenna it's a little bit wider up to about this point it looks like it's got a little more material on the outside to kind of firm up the antenna so it doesn't swing around too bad. It looks real similar to, uh, see I have a, uh, a Nagoya Ham dual bander that's this long, 771. And it is the same length. Makes you wonder. But it's the same length, and it doesn't have the supporting piece here. It makes you wonder if this is a legitimate Nagoya. I don't know. This is this was in a box of stuff I got at a ham fest. It was, it was, all, it was used equipment, so who knows? It's blue. It's different. It sure is a different. So maybe the old style was that way. Maybe it's not Nagoya. Maybe at all. Compared to here's a Louis Vuitton which is a knockoff Nagoya, it's a 771. Anyway, this is uh, it's about the same length also. And this one has the uh, extra material on the outside about halfway up to give it some support. Maybe I'll test these three and see if, if the short quarter wave works better than this one. Don't know until we try it though. And this one has a little bit of extra material too. And I can tell you that it, it's nice having it flexible, but it's also, it is moving unsprung weight on top of the radio. And that does kind of, that can have an effect on the way it handles potential for falling over. These, sometimes these will, sometimes they'll fall over. This is a wide bottom girl here. This, the 916 is probably the most stable HT I have. That was pretty good, but that was solid. Tests are coming. Tests are coming.